guys. Um, today, just making a review about the Jump Oil Flash. Um, it's a great backpacking stove. It's, I've been to Philmont. It lasted through Philmont. Cooked great meals. It kept me fed well. So, you probably pick one of these up at any backpacking store like REI or EMS for about $100, $130. Um, it's really light. Um, it's very packable. You can put everything in here and you close it up and you just throw it in your backpack and you're ready to go. The only problem is is that when this went to film on, um, this happened. Uh, someone put three jet boils together and tried to cook like a large pot on it. Um, I don't suggest you try that. Um, it's not a very good idea. Um, so basically how you set this up and you get a meal done very fast in a few minutes. First of all, you take this clip here pop it out, take this, and you screw it into your fuel canister, screw it on really quick, like that, you take the stand, unfold it, and there's these little clips in here that you will put the fuel canister in it. At Philmont, if, if you guys are going to Philmont, they'll give you bigger fuel canisters that'll last longer than these and are a little bit bigger, that's why there's different, uh, different, like, as you can see, there's different clips for different size canisters. It just pops right in. And then, you turn this to let gas out. And then once you find the sparker, you ignite the sparker, and then you put your jet boil on with water in, and you cook. So, that's how it works. Mine comes with a sparker, not all of them will come with sparkers. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. The sparker's nice to have. Um, some people say it doesn't work at high altitudes, but mine worked every time at Philmont, no matter what altitude I was at, and I went up to about 12,500 feet. So, um, I think it's pretty reliable. And, uh, yeah. It's durable, and when you cook, it has these indicators on it, and when this turns all the way orange, you know that... Your water's all boiled. Um, don't cook anything in this because it'll become a smellable. You should only boil water in it and put it in your mountain house or backpacking dehydrated food. Um, and that's really all I have to talk about the jet boil. I mean, it's a good, great product. Um, I suggest you go pick one up if you're going to film on or a backpacker in general. And yeah, thanks for watching.